We're gonna go over the red pill manipulation game. Play that uh, body beat, they probably think I'm shook. If you think I'm on to straight career, but it's easy like a Luke. E like I'm from the West Coast, those rappers wanna try and boast, but how they got these foreign cars, big homes. If you do like this video, the like, comment, subscribe button, all that good stuff. We do a bunch of dry comedy, make fun of corrupt politicians, and just overall dumb shit here. So if you do like that, make sure to hit the subscribe button, feel free to like, comment, etc. What you think about the video. And what I could do better, because you know I'm always here to do better for y'all. Anyways, get in the video. So I wanted to point out some examples on why I think the red pill movement especially speaks to young men. Right? And again, I'm 23. I'm still a young man. But, I can tell you at 21, 20, like 20, 21, I was definitely believing these things, right? But I kind of formated my opinion, got more and research, and realized this is all a little crap. Okay? So I'm going to go over the, the reasons why this is appealing to young men. So when you're, especially with the young men, the perception on things because of the internet, especially in my generation, Gen Z, is that we think things are normal because we see it online when it's not. So like, for example, right, we'll see like Andrew Tate, okay, and he's this big macho man, right? You know, about, oh, the Matrix is screwing you over, the Matrix, the Matrix is out to get you, right? To young men who don't know shit, because again, young Americans read at a 5th to 6th grade literacy exam, literacy rate rather, what you end up having is you have young men who naively believe people like that because they don't under, like, what they don't, it's always like, I cannot take responsibility for my actions, therefore, it has to be external. It can't be something I'm doing wrong, right? And I think the, the problem with young men is that mean and this is me too was there's no discipline right if you, and again life is tough life is rough life is gonna life sucks okay life genuinely fucking sucks okay you're gonna get screwed over you're gonna do all these things it's really hard to build something right it takes a lot of consistency a lot of work a lot of time you put into it okay a lot of skills, a lot of de uh, skill development, a lot of... There's a whole bunch of things that have to be, to be successful, really successful in life. And even, the, even if you have all those skills, if you don't have the luck involved to do it, to capitalize on those skills, that's a thing too. So when people see, like, uh, Andrew Tate, all these red pill guys in these really nice suits, and these Rolex watches, driving Bugattis, all these chicks, to a young man, especially, like, I used to be this too, I was like, damn, this guy's a fucking badass. He fucking worked for his shit. And he's said all about the Matrix. This guy's successful. He must know what the Matrix is. So I'm going to follow that guy because he clearly knows what he's talking about. He's so successful. He probably knows like, what he's talking about in the inside game. They probably are trying to get him, right? When the reality is life is just fucking hard. And you get some people get lucky. Some people don't. At the end of the day. like That's what it comes down to. Now, you can put as much work as you want into something. If you want to get like multi, multi, like tens of millions, hundred of millions, even a billionaire, right? This stuff takes a lot of work and a lot of time. And there's so much it goes into it, right? A lot of it's luck, a lot of it's just insane skills, right? Really good skill development. And I think that's one reason why it's appealing to young men. Number two, in this partial society, again, the way the way a lot of people my generation view, now, view men woman dynamic is different from how previous generations viewed it right so what we used to do is we used to recognize like yeah women right are equal to men but in different fashions right so it's like in the example of like men are good predominantly at a specific type of skill set so like physical labor um, because of biology, because of muscle development, because of how puberty works for men, etc., etc. Women are more socially uh, advanced than most men on, on a macro level, right? You're always going to have your exceptions, but on a massive level, women are definitely more socially inept than men. I mean, sorry, men are definitely more socially inept than women, right? So a woman is going to be a lot more socially in inclined, Right, so like women are mostly going to be like nurses, really good, really good stay-at-home moms, uh, daycare teachers, uh, t uh, teachers in general, uh, like 
hospital stuff, taking care of people, old people's homes, working with the disabled, et cetera, et cetera, right? Because they're more advanced socially on average. You're probably going to have more women in those fields rather than men doing construction, doing all these things. It's not that men are doing harder work. It's that men are more uh, men are more capable of doing a specific type of job versus another. And I think what ends up happening is uh, they'll say like, oh, they're trying to say women and men are equal. Yeah, women and men are equal. We're, we're just, we're just, are, it just, we have different roles, right? And I think that's something that people never bring up. And it's, it pisses me off because it makes so many young men just angry and frustrated at the world because all they're being told is you suck. You, you, you this, you that. Oh, all men are rapists. Oh, all these things. And it's like, you know, it's like to young men, that's like, what the fuck are you shitting on me for? I'm just like, dude, some random dude. What, why do you think all of this specific, like, straight white men are all awful people? Like, it's ridiculous. And again, even though it's a vast minority of people, by the way, it's not, even, it's not even close to a majority. It's a vast minority of people. But the problem is the vocal minority dictates the what's going on right now. And I think young men definitely need to hear stuff like that. Because I think that that's a problem. And, like, again, I've... I went through the red red pill rabbit hole. It's not good. I just want to see, like, you know, just wanted to say that as well. Number three. T- so to the younger man, getting a bunch of chicks, having a bunch of sex, a bunch of money, all these things are. It's it's really it seems seems really cool, right? I used to think that way, but the the thing is, like, the thing is, honestly. It's, it's, uh, it's, it drains you, right? Because you're having to keep up a certain image, okay? And when you do these things, you also turn people off around you, right? The, the goal, for, especially for men, the goal should be to be the most productive person you can. So, meaning, the, the, so meaning you should work on your skills. Don't worry about all that extra stuff, right? Because at the end of the day, there are plenty of jobs if you work on your skills, right? Which is what I'm doing now, right? It's, uh, it's also why I have this YouTube channel. Because a lot of the videos, I just kind of read on the spot and I learn and I make videos as I learn and as I go, right? And I think that's a good thing people should do. I think people should do that. I think that's a good thing. I think people should learn skills. I don't think people should should accept a narrative because they're told to. I think you should be like, hey, show me the evidence to see how this works. Why not show me the evidence? Because I think young men, especially young men, need to develop these skills to be successful, right? And I think a lot of the time, what happens is young men, either due to the economy, due to a whole bunch of things, right, where minimum wage rising is not there, where it's even harder to buy a home now because of interest rates, because of all these things, and again, it screws over young men, because, uh, because what you have now is young men are not in a, are not able to purchase the same homes, to purchase whatever, to build a family into, to establish, to establish something to where a family can flourish, right, and I think that's a problem too, that is a massive problem in my opinion, and because of that, now young men have even more angst than they normally would. Because, again, you have the left saying all men are bad, you have the right saying, the uh, the, the left can be like, but then you have like the red pillars being like, oh, follow us, you can you can do whatever you want to women, women are this, women are that, oh, d- oh gay men are more masculine because women, like, and so it's, it's basically just malinism is what I call it, it's just malinism. It's men can do no wrong, we need to, male, 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 right? It's, it's the same thing. Women, 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 women. Feminism is just, it's the same thing, okay? It's just, it's just like masculism, right? So I think it's a better term to call it, but yeah. I mean, again, that's just the problem I have with the Red Pill movement, and it doesn't actually teach people to have productive skills. It doesn't teach people a good way of life. It just teaches people debauchery, degeneracy, and all these different things. Yeah, if you clip certain things, yeah, it could be helpful if you clip certain things, but, like, the entire point is go have a bunch of sex, uh, go do, go, go just, like, you know, go do all these different things, and it's like, the, the, women are less than you, don't let a woman rise up to you, like, when the, when the reality is, young men, one, go do a trade, okay, 
I I have I cannot really go to school. I can I, I, actually. I might, I might look into it, right? But uh, yeah, like again, because like this stuff kind of it's um it's a lot cheaper to do a trade, and then the, the payout is a lot better. It's about on par. Like if you go to an electrician trade, or you do a bunch of like needed skills, you actually can get paid a lot more. And also too, the fact that unions are such dog shit in America that no one actually lobbies for wages anymore. If you don't invest in your union. You can't get the benefits of a union because the union is not lo it doesn't have the money to lobby for you like the corporations have the lobby people to lobby for them right and I think that's also a thing too so I again this 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 is where I still struggle with too like it's not something I'm immune to this is not something at all I I you know there's something I figured I'd bring up because I I don't think that throwing the baby out with the bathwater is, is all is all fine and dandy I think that yeah there's a problem economically. Men are being completely disenfranchised. I 100% agree with that. I feel disenfranchised, right? But at the same time, you kind of have to realize, okay, well, you know what? Maybe these odds are against me, but let me develop the skills no matter who tells me, no matter what happens, I'm going to develop these skills and have determination, have discipline, and all these different things. That's why when I started saying I make content every day, I really do make content every day, right? There's not a day unless I literally do not have a phone to do it. Like, one night I did not make content because my power was out. And I was going to make a video, and my power went out. And I couldn't get on until the next morning, so I made two videos to make up for the previous one, right? So I put up more effort, right? It's kind of like, it's that kind of a thing, where it's like, just, if you be productive, you be a respectable human being that people want to look up to in a, in a genuine sense of, man, this guy's successful, he's taking care of his kids, he's helping his community... He's working a job. He's This guy is so productive. I want to be like that guy, right? And I think what ends up happening is you have all these uh, like these people who just like... It's like, I want to be like that guy because they're a, the star of the show rather than I want to act and be like that guy because that guy is good. He's a genuine human being. He's honest. He takes care of his kids. He's a man of his word. He's, a, you know, an overall just good person. And I think that's something that needs to be said. You know, I, that's just my massive criticism of the Red Pill movement. I think it kind of went off the fucking hinges, and now it's just just, ma uh, just masculinism, pretty much. Not a feminism, it's masculinism. But anyways, yeah, I uh, just figured to make this video real quick. All right.